Hey there, so welcome to Tiny House Tuesday. Today we're building on a 30 by 20 lot in Bridleton Bay, and it's a tier three tiny house for an astronomer and two kids. And so I was thinking uh, we could use the new telescope uh, that came with the new patch, the, the tiny one that we finally got. Um, so I, yep, there it is, stuck it onto the porch, but I also wanted to use um, the big one because there's just so many more gameplay options with that and just structurally it's adds adds a lot of flavor to this build um i think so i wanted it to be like in the middle of nowhere kind of where they would have a good uh view of the stars and stuff so i put it it i put it it put it here um where that bridge is and it's sort of like secluded it's uh you have to get to this area by passing under a bridge so it's kind of like on its own um sort of isolated from the rest of brindleton bay and there's like lots of um wildlife i put a pond in here i even put a crocodile i think or is it an alligator crocodile i think it's a crocodile <laughs> um so i put that in here and i put like a bunch of greenery and so i felt it was safe to put a bunch of windows on this house without curtains <laughs> I usually don't put curtains in my builds, but this time it actually makes sense because um, there aren't that many people, um, so it's okay. And then there's like the bathroom that actually is more shut off and private, and yeah, it's okay. So I felt like since they like looking at the stars, it would be nice to have like big windows so that like while they're having dinner, they can also like look out into the night sky and stuff and um, do astronomer things things that they they do i don't know um i'm not too sure about astronomy all my friends are into astrology <laughs> that is not the same <laughs> um but yeah so it's a single astronomer um and they have like two kids so i put in uh, a little bedroom that's still kind of like open to the kitchen because i use the fence from eco lifestyle uh, so it's not like super closed off because that's a big thing with small houses. It can just feel a little too um, small and you can get a little claustrophobic. Um, so I did not want to do that to these to these poor children. So I put in the pullout uh, couch. What is it? Murphy bed. Yes. Um, for the parents in the living room and then uh, two bunk beds in that main bedroom area and I kind of wanted to add a lot of like wood and so it feels so it is modern but it also feels kind of in tune with like the nature around oh that sounds really cheesy um but you know what I mean and then I put in a bunch of like cute little um space astronomy decor <laughs> like the two posters I put by the bed um and I get to use the um light the yeah what is that called? Um, uh, space? No. Um, tell me what that's called. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll Google it later. Um, or it'll come to me in a dream. But yeah, I love using that light. It's so funny, but you don't, it doesn't fit in all your builds. Um, so it's really fun using that here. And then since most of the house is kind of like a neutrally woody beige color, I made the bathroom a little bit more colorful um so it's just a little a nice little surprise you know uh sometimes sometimes it's it's fun like that having the closed off spaces um being a little bit more funky i love funky powder rooms so i always like to do um small secluded spaces um kind of like kind of like that just a little bit more color make it a little more funky Okay, so we're about to head into screenshots, so thanks so much for watching, and if you like this build, don't forget to like and subscribe, and you can also download this off the gallery under my EA ID, built with coffee, that's built with coffee, all our face, no spaces. Alright, thanks so much, and bye! <laughs>
Thank you.